everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Jan and today I have a guest uh, and it's Surian. Hi. I hope I pronounce your you name yeah. correct, Surian. Oh sure, Surian. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Surian is a singer and uh, you might guys uh, watch uh, how Surian was performing in my one of the previous videos uh, when we went to have a nice time at uh, Cabana Beach Bar and uh, where we met Surian first time and heard how you sing, so it was really nice. Thank, Thank you really so much. much. And Thank you so much for actually coming today. My pleasure and thank you for you know accepting the invitation to come and see in us and all. So oh, it was, was, it's a great, great pleasure. pleasure, you know, because sometimes, you know, because I came across your videos through Levante Beauty, you were exposing Gibraltar and promoting Gibraltar, which you do very, very beautifully. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, and so I contacted you and it, it actually, I really appreciate that you actually took your time and you came over with your friend and you sat there through the whole event and I appreciate your time and thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my videos also. Right. And actually inviting Subscribe me. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Actually, Surian also has a channel. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you I do, I do. Yeah. Surya music. Surya music. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we can uh, put the link in the description yeah. of this video so they For can sure. come and see. Actually, because you probably will not be able to perform today. Well, it was really a bit outside. I know. I was thinking because I was going to do something for you, wasn't I? Yeah. But you know, because of the the weather and everything, and also because I've been, to be honest, I've been a little bit um, on the cold side. It's not COVID. I've been tested. I work in a school. So um, the air cones and stuff really get to me. Um, so everyone's coming down, you know, with the change of weather and all. So, but um, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit under the weather. And I'm performing tomorrow again in Cabana. Oh, okay. So I know it's going to do something for you, but maybe you can save that for some other time. You know, we can do yeah, something more intimate yeah, for you. Really yeah. nice. With Louis, with my guitarist, we can just do something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do it the other day. So today yeah, we're just sure. like chilling out yeah. in the nice weather. I mean, it was very nice earlier. <laughs> it's gone a little bit Levanta. And to the Levanta, right? yeah. Suddenly, because it was the, it was a uh, which is what we call it, it was a completely different kind a different kind of front hitting Gibraltar and then we've got this thing which is called, which is called the Levanta cloud which hits the rock and it kind of lays and it, it creates a kind of darkness around you and you actually think that it's going to rain because that's, that's what you were yeah, thinking it was going to rain yeah. but it's not going to rain it's just really humid so if you've got curls like me yeah, they kind nothing. of frizz out <laughs> oh, like you, it just drops you know <laughs> yeah I know but we'll be fine yeah so okay so as you guys understood that Surian is actually Gibraltarian yes you have a very nice, uh, beautiful name. Thank and I you. wanted to ask you first, actually, is, no. it, is it a local name? Or well, my dad, my dad, um, initially he wanted to name me Suri. Okay. But when I was going to be baptized, because it's not a Christian name, um, he needed to kind of make it more Christian, so he added Anne, so that's why it's called Suri Anne. Oh, okay. yeah, but Suri has got um, a background from um, Indian, it's Indian and Arab, and it kind of means like enlightenment, like sunshine, mm. like light. So there you go, Suri Anne. Oh. Oh, well, very, very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, very beautiful because I felt like it uh, sounds like Suri. I felt like Suri, 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 but not Suri, no? No, it's Surian. 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 Yeah. Yes. But my friends, you know, call me Suri, so you can call me Suri. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, very nice. Thank you. So, actually, you were born here in Jamaica. I was born here. So, I was yeah. born many years ago, many moons ago. Right. <laughs> and then when I was 18, I left. I studied in the UK. Okay. I did an interior and architecture. No, I did interior design. No, I'm I did a art and design course first in Kent, okay. then I went to Nottingham and I did an interior architecture design course there. Then I decided that life is to live and to grab by the moment, so I had this thing in me to do music and stuff, so I kind of put everything to one side. I started working on promotions as you do because it's very flexible, you can choose when to work mm -hmm. and when not to. I started concentrating a little bit more myself and my songwriting a little bit more because songwriting for me has been therapy. Um, it used to be, um, so you know when you get like lots of troubles in your mind yeah. and you just like write it down on a piece of paper so I had a diary and I used to write everything in my diary and then those, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then those thoughts kind of became into um, emotions and tones and stuff and I, it's taken me a lot of years to discover how to, how to transmit my emotions and the way that I feel through my voice. Because, you know, when you first start, you think like you belt out and you shout and you think, yeah, I can sing. No, you cannot sing, woman. No, no, you're actually shouting. It's a different kind of, um, I, 
it takes a journey, you know, it takes a journey to understand, you know, so it's very different to every person. Yeah. So maybe you feel that you are transmitting it one way and maybe you haven't tried different ways of transmitting that same emotion. Yeah. So yeah, everyone's got their own way of singing also. So yeah. Maybe. Is it uh, is it your main profession singing? I wish. Or, I so is wish. it uh, like a hobby? It is a hobby. Right now it's a hobby. It's something like um, I would absolutely love to be able to do full time. But it takes a lot of luck and it takes a lot of like knowing people in the business also to help you out and stuff. But I think I'm very blessed and I think I feel myself very rich, <laughs> even though I'm very poor, you should see my, junk, my bank account. Um, <laughs> because of the people I'm surrounded by, you know, um, it's priceless. You know, I'm now working with Levanta Breeze and every day is a completely new learning curve with them there's not a single day that i do not learn with them you know as a band i work with them together as a band and we're a strong unit mm -hmm. and they've got their own merit in the, the work that they do their jazz fusion and they have kind of adopted me <laughs> and their adopted daughter <laughs> adopted me and they've kind of um, heard my songs and heard the message that i want to put across and they've actually understood what i wanted to convey and they've added their own magic to my songs so we kind of work together and then besides that, I also work um, as a duo with the bass player, Louis Shibolina, and who also is a fantastic guitarist. So we kind of duo together every Friday now in Cabana, where you come to see us with the band. Right, okay, yeah. very nice. So I was going to ask, when um, you finished studying at uh, university. university, so from the UK, you decided to come back to Gibraltar. I stayed there. You stayed I stayed the there. I have been away from Gibraltar. I left when I was 18. Mm -hmm. Then I was in the UK for 18 years. So you can do the sums here. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I left when I was 18. I was there for 18 years, mm -hmm. like doing my thing and stuff. And then I came back, but I didn't come back to Gibraltar. I went to Spain and I was in Spain for four years and a half. And then I've been here for a year and a half. Right. So, so where I've do you like it more? <laughs> Gibraltar? <laughs> um, I like Gibraltar now where I am now. Right. I'm really enjoying where I am. When I was in Spain for four years and a half, I absolutely loved it there and I learned so much. I was um, living by myself in a two bedroom flat and I had a little bunny rabbit as a flatmate, which I adored. Jazz, he was my soulmate. It's amazing how much you can bond with these creatures, you know. And, uh, I, he, was not, he wasn't caged, he was roaming free. Oh, and seriously, he used to sleep. This is wrong, it's going to sound really bad. Yeah? Like, I used to sleep by my feet. Okay. Like he, I toilet trained to the rabbit, I'm not joking. Yeah, right. <laughs> he used to respond to his name, commands and stuff. He was like my pal. Um, he came over to Gibraltar with me. He used to live with me, my partner. Um, but unfortunately, um, rabbits are very prone to this kind of disease that kind of um, fills the body and the lungs with gas. And Jazz died about a year. A year ago. Oh, sorry. No, he's, he's, I, can, I, I won't oh, cry you, now, but I was, I've accepted it you now. But it. Yeah, I do. But for me, he's still around, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. I still find like little fluffy things from him, you know, and stuff. But um, it's amazing now also how much you learn from these little creatures. Yeah. And he actually taught me about unwinding and calm because they're so calm and all they do is sleep and but they want love you know yeah. and i discovered a lot through through jazz and he i couldn't i would never forget him because when he used to bring up my guitar and just jam there and get songs he used to they do these amazing things which are called flops and he used to flop on my feet yeah. and even my partner my partner's a musician mm. And the same thing, he used to come out and like sing and stuff, and he used to flop. He loved music. So yeah, jazz played a huge, huge role in my life when I used to be in Spain. And then when I was in the UK, I think the UK gave me the liberty that Gibraltar never did. You know, the, the fact that you were able to like be yourself and adventure. Because here, you're very close to home all the time. Yeah. You've seen it, you've come here. Yeah, you, you know everyone here, You right? know everyone, <laughs> yeah, and everyone knows you. No. Which is great. But it's good. It's great because it makes yeah. it very safe. You have a lot of support. That's right. From you friends are. and family. Yes, you do. But then you become so complacent and you become so relaxed with the people around you. That oh, it, so you don't find hard, you find safe. Yes, <laughs> it's like, okay, they yes, know me. Yeah, yeah. Is that like this? It's easy. It's an oh, easy that's life. That's how it gets. It's an easy life. It's like, it's too easy, it's, it's, which is great in a way. Yeah. But you know, if you want to discover more about yourself and stuff, you know, you need to push yourself further. Mm. And that is what the UK offered to me, mm. that freedom. Are you actually thinking to leave at some point or are you planning to stay here? At the moment, I'm here and um, we are at fine. This, the, the plan at this moment just here, at the but moment, in the future, yeah. right? who knows, you know, I mean, if, if an opportunity comes where I could maybe take the, the music elsewhere, mm. like, I don't know, maybe something happens, I don't know, hey, come to LA for a year, oh. in this, 
Here we go, guys. Also, you're open to like open Contact to opportunity. Like, <laughs> offer, if somebody will offer you to yeah. come and for sure. work somewhere, for you sure. would love to go. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't. Wow, wow. Yeah, Maybe, for yeah. sure, yeah. definitely. Because I, you know, opportunities. This is one thing I've learned to people. You know, life is full of opportunities and they're floating around yeah. you. <laughs> you know, and if you don't grab that opportunity there at that moment, someone else will. Yeah, so I true. have learned to grab it there at the moment. Right. You know? Yeah. I just, uh, to be honest, I don't know how it works. I have never been involved in like music business. I mean, I actually played violin. I did too. Yeah, when I was like um, 13. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, like, did it like uh, for a year. The course is like, we really liked it, but then I had um, a little bit of break and then I'm just like, okay, I had enough. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all. That's my experience. That's why I'm like, uh, it's quite interesting to actually, you know, to find out a little bit more how it works. So, um, so you've been like singing since childhood, right? Well, I, how, how's it? <laughs> how's it? Well, when you say you sing, is I've been in choirs and I've been trying to do my thing, like doing the whole color yeah. singing, you know, the Christmas, whatever. I'm dreaming of a white cousin. So the it was building. more before, like just like a normal like a fun thing. around. That's right, not like around. serious. But no. then it started to be pick up a little bit more. That's right, when I was in the UK. It's more, more, in UK, yeah. it's more in the UK. Yeah, more in the UK, because then you've got more opportunities. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's more open. There is more. But, but you started to entertain there. Like I the started. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I you did. were performing. Yeah, yeah, I and, did. And I know you write your own songs. It's That's not right. just covers. You do That's covers right. and and write. To be honest, my main forte is writing my own songs and doing things with my with my band. understood more it's like people um, people need to listen when you listen to music yeah. if they know something they're familiar with right. they tune in right. if you make it your own even better because when I do a cover I could never do the same cover like say for example Janis Joplin does or you know um, Jeff Buckley or Bono from U2 Pink you can never do what they do because they are the artists themselves. Yeah. You can only appreciate what they're trying to give and then you do your own version. No, I... So what I like to say is like I versionize the songs. I so don't like make it with a twist. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> right. you can never be like what they do. No way. It's like I could never be what you do, you know, because you are you. You're unique in your own special way. <laughs> but you are. But, every, <laughs> but I think so many of us do in these videos, you know. No, but it doesn't matter. There could be millions, but you, there's only one you. That's the energy inside of you. Oh, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you need yeah. to. Yeah, I understand. You have to accept that, you know, because you are you. Yeah. Uh, I understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Well, uh, it's really nice. Uh, thank you. So. Um, you are you are singing together with the band, yes. which is Levante Bliss. Yes. Uh, is it the only band you're working with? Or? Yes. At the moment, I'm just working with them because before I was like working with other bands in Gibraltar, which I absolutely had a blast. Right. But what I noticed was like my because I work during the day, I work in the school. Um, my energy was too much. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that, and then, 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 So I thought, look, I'm going to direct my energy into one channel. And which is the band, which is my main thing, and doing my duet stuff with uh, Louis, who's in the same in the band, who's right. a bass player there. Um, so yeah, I'm just focusing just solely on Levante Breeze and myself. Do you, do you, I don't know, like sing solo, I mean without it? Yeah, or I also do. You do it on your own? Yeah, also. yeah, true. Yeah, I do do right. stuff by myself, and I do a lot of like live streams and stuff. Um, 
but what I've realized it's um, it's so much better and so much more fun when you share it with people around you so that's why now when I get called for a gig I always call Louis to come and we share the gig together because it's fun so it's like it's uh, after work we usually would meet together and we rehearse at home we do the, oh, I go I, should, I, I go I, to Louis's home and we rehearse there. We were oh. going to, that's what I was going to ask you, oh, to do like a studio. studio. Yeah. yeah. So we, it would have been like nice to show how you like do it live, you know. With the band and stuff. Yes, yes. But the way we are right now, um, it's in retrench, uh, retrenchment, I always say really, but I love you barracks, okay, in Gibraltar. <laughs> but the thing is that the space that we have right now is, um, it's very damp, it's very small. Uh, we have a, a view to record an album, but where we are right now, we, this, we cannot do it there. Our equipment is getting moldy also, you know, you go in there, you play and, the, you know, your hair is white because the, the paint is coming down from the walls, that's how it's not really good building. It's not very good at the moment. Um, so we are looking for a different kind of venue right now where we can kind of set up our own studio for a couple of weeks and record an album because they've got enough material for themselves to record the album and so have I. But where we are right now at the moment, it's not very good. And that's why I thought it wouldn't be cool for you guys to come to where we are right now in the rehearsal space because it would be too dark also, it would be darker than now. Even the Levanta cloud here is more light than the rehearsal space. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, it's not going to be like uh, Harukam or something. You don't have Harukam here, no. do you? <laughs> I mean, I've been here for you quite a while, fine. but not for too long. How long have you been here for? Well, I have been back since 2015, oh, okay. but you know, going backwards and forwards because I have been traveling a lot, yeah, but yeah. lately I've been staying here probably a year more, like with the COVID, I can't go anywhere, yeah, so I've been here, I have my parents now here. So you've been so, here and all now. Yeah. Oh, nice. So that's why I've like fully, like fully, fully complete, like uh, probably a year. A year. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm still not familiar with the weather much, except the Levanta and all that. No, no, don't worry. It's not going to rain. But this is just changing the weather so, so, so fast. much. But yeah. normally by this time of the year, with the, the, the summer would have been really, really kicking in. Right. But we are having a late summer. So I reckon we're going to have an extended summer. So come September, October, it's still going to be very, very because it was a little bit chilly in June, isn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, like, like... It never was, but honestly, like <laughs> April and May, you've mm. been bathing, swimming and stuff, but this year, for some reason, it yeah. hasn't kicked in already. That's how I was. Like, <laughs> that's how like I was, this, and I'm like, hey, I was making the videos all the time in my coats, and everybody would be probably just... <laughs> And then I get Steve to give you like a quiz or something like with the heater here. Yeah. No, actually it's been very like I've also played here in this place before, like in the they have um, live music here. And I remember, when was it in April that we played here? And it started to drizzle and poor Steve like he put us like this big umbrella behind us. He put us the heaters, yes. you know, the lights, he really accommodated. He's a very good guy. So I'm sure if it starts raining he will he will cover us up, don't worry. We can say a little bit we are recording in the, the place is called La Terra La Terra Cita. What's that supposed to be? La terracita? Yeah, terracita is a terraza, a terraza, like a terrace. So this is like a, a terrace here. And Mel would, um, you probably see like maybe walking up and down there in the background. Um, she used to run the, the Nelson, the Lord Nelson in case mix. Okay. And Steve and Mel are partners and now Mel has left the Nelson and she's come over to help Steve out. But it's getting really popular here. Yeah, they come here quite often. Um, yeah, I played here a couple of times. Yeah. And all, so yes. you actually sing here too? Yeah, so I've, I've, music yeah, too? yeah, I've sung here a couple of times and Steve mm. got, I think it's Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays that he's got people over here. Yeah, very cool. And they share the, the terrace here with a, a Marrakesh restaurant, which yeah. is just next to over here. And I think it was like a, a week ago. They had like this belly dance oh, and all. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah. I saw it on the Facebook. Oh, you saw it on the Facebook <laughs> yeah, also? Yeah. Oh, you sent the link. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, to the place, but I didn't have the video was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw it. Was yeah. interesting. That is a cool. I like that too. Yeah. So, um, so what kind of, again, like what kind of style of music you are doing? I would say we are um, jazz, a jazz fusion yeah. with a blend of rock and blues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's a, a very like fused, it's not world music really, I would say a jazz rock blues fusion. Alright, okay, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, I don't know much about right. influences in jazz. <laughs> fusion. <laughs> <Ta -da>. What fusion? Because <laughs> it's not, like... yeah, because it's not proper, it's not jazz jazz, right. you know, because jazz jazz is very um, technical, you know, they are, yeah. though the band are very technical, but um, it's more uh, mainstream. Right. Um, than complicated jazz as you would find like all these amazing jazz players that are out there. 
Um, so yeah, I would say like more mainstream jazz fusion uh, with a little bit of rock and blues in there. So, um, like you writing your own songs, yeah. right? Where do you get your inspiration from? <laughs> I would get it like from like things that happen to me in life, or like it's more like what your what, stories. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. storytelling. Because I find um, I find some writing a way of storytelling. That's why I made before. Like for me, I used to write in a diary and I write my thoughts and stuff, and then that turned into songs and music. Because oh. it's the way that you feel. You write it on paper. So mm -hmm. the way. That's why there's a I sing. Write it. Write it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like when you sing, so you do write your your feelings, that's and right. then they yeah. go into the kind of like the song. The song. So you try to transmit your emotion through tonalities and like ways of singing, you know. And sometimes to express, say for example, if, if I was angry about something or wanted to put a point of view, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to shout to let it go. You can find a deeper tone, like maybe like a lower tone to let it go. That's right. That's how you express your emotions. That's right. Through the song. Yeah, but it's like the, cool. the journey never stops. It's like wow. it's discovering your voice and how you want to transmit that emotion. Right. So, so Do you write uh, music too, or is it just? Uh, no, I I, um, I did try to learn like how to read music and stuff, but uh, it's too complicated. No, right. I just and it's cool all by ear. Is it someone's writes it for you? No, um, it's three. Yeah. I learned three years, so I've learned to play three years right. and singing the same. Um, probably these guys can, like I know we can learn. And Brian, who's a keyboard player, he knows how to read and right. stuff. Like they know how to do stuff like that. But I, I don't. So you just like, so how, I mean, I'm just like, when you sing the songs, how do they pick up some kind of notes from it? Like, how does it go into the proper. Yeah. It's insane. Okay, because I don't understand I, this kind of... But even I don't understand that. Because I sing it and stuff, right. and then Brian will go, ah, this, and then he'll do this harmony, this fifth over here. I'm like, this is sustained here. And for me, he's talking like Chinese, I have no idea. Okay, Brian, but it sounds amazing, you know? They they, they are so gifted and so talented, you know? Um, like, I don't know, but they just get into my world and they understand what I'm trying to do, and they just find the arrangements and the notes for it. Unbelievable. Because I go there with my guitar and I yeah. sing. Yeah. And so you sing uh, with the guitar? Yeah, yeah. Right. Or so you, you play guitar, play the guitar. And, then, and then you sing your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. then they... And guys picks up. They pick up. They pick it up. So the, the, in your side, you have the examples of this kind of performance? So or with my guitar? Yeah. My, yeah, on my YouTube channel. So. of songs, oh, tons okay. of songs. Ask me how many good ones have you got? Well, I uh, presume they're all good. You don't mm. think that some of them are not you good? You see, when you write them, you feel like, yeah. 
because God, they're great. Yeah. But then maybe they're great to you because you've let go what you wanted to write through that story. But maybe someone like when I take them to the band, they'll go, actually, Sriyan, that one sounds exactly the same as the other one, oh, okay. like the other one. So, like, so they are the main judges to you, are they? Yeah. So they, that's oh my how God, they yeah. tell and you how. Yeah. And they tell me straight. But what about the public? Because you would usually get like the news yeah, 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 yeah. They, they do what do they say. No, they so react. What, what, what's their reaction? How at the moment, at the moment when I've been playing with the band, they reacted positively. Yeah. So those are good, you know, so, those okay. are great. <laughs> those are great. But when I put my songs to the band, um, like I told you, they go, nah, you need to work on a change here. But I like that because they're frank and they're honest. Mm. They tell me how it is. They give me homework, and that's how I get better. Because ah, okay. so I need to learn. So they're the main change. critics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so but I need that because it becomes. Yeah, it's, it's important to be safe. to get the honest. That's right, opinion. an honest opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to learn. I, I only want to get better. So if I just stay in the same kind of um, plane all the time, I'm never going to improve. So I need people like them around me. My partner is also very good. To do you do any performance together? Or, well, I don't know. or he's in different style? He says he doesn't make specific pleasure. Oh, so, right. whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever. Because if, uh, if he's a musician, you could he do is. it together. He's a very... He was a, well, doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't no. work that way. He likes to do his thing. Let him do his thing. And then, yeah, whatever. Whatever, okay. Paul. His name is Paul. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. So, uh, you said you want to record an album. Yeah. Is it going to be your first one? Or? It would be my first one. Oh, okay. Like what I've done before, I've done EPs or maybe I've done demos and stuff like that, which is what I have now online. But they're not a true representation of where I am right now. They're very old stuff. So that's why I'm really, um, I'm really on the lookout now to find a place that we can set up and record. Right. I've got a feeling that when we do, we're gonna have, we're gonna do something so magical and so wonderful that it's gonna really work. But it's finding the right place because we have the equipment, we have the energy. Do you have a, sorry, you have an equipment like I'm just, I'm not sure. Don't you have like studios, uh, recording studios in Gibraltar already? There is, there where is you can one. There is like, one. Don't know how it works. To be honest. There is one which is called Rock on the Rock Club, right. but it's not the right space that we want to use to make this because we we have our own equipment that we would like to set up and Rock on the Rock Club have their own equipment there which is great, but we want to be in a room, set it up and play live to a click, all of us together. Okay. You know, it's difficult. There's different equipment. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like, I thought it's like the same equipment. No, 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 no way, no way. No oh, way. so they're like different. Oh. Yeah, you can, there's so many mics that you can have, amplifiers, processors. There's so many things. It depends on what you want. Mm. Yeah, a specific sound will have a, a specific equipment or specific mic that you want. So you could, um, for example, record my uh, a guitar. Mm. You could record the guitar through the DI, which is um, you can have the cable connected to um, to the mixing desk, right. or to get a different kind of sound. You can have that too, but then you could have a, a mic in front of the guitar. Mm to get around the sound <laughs> but then depending on the mic depending on the sound that you're gonna have right so it's all very technical so oh, these guys okay. they have the equipment and they know what they want and i know the sound that i want which i know i'm gonna get it through them so that's why we need an empty space right to put a studio in and then we'll take a studio out just for a couple of weeks and we'll do it oh, okay. but i believe I, 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 love, I wish you good luck in thank you so much yeah, yeah. thank you i'm putting I it out know. there to the universe so uh, like anyone out there <laughs> are you do you need like someone to help you or is it are you just looking what is this oh, i like, need someone with a, an empty if space someone will just have empty place yeah, and they might let you to to do it that's right oh, okay. that's right so in we'll gibraltar the message if yeah anyone there with an empty space <laughs> come on to gibraltar we're probably going to have a lot of people <laughs> offering you like okay we have it in the u.s or something i have lots of people well, if you have it in the u.s if you, in, you, in, you, in, you enjoy watching but who knows but maybe someone in the u.s like if you enjoy your style and you a producer or anyone you've got a studio out there you know <laughs> we'll fly over the continent <laughs> we'll come I to mean, the group the whole group fly yeah we want to do this so if an opportunity comes and we can grab it because it's there right. <laughs> we'll grab it before someone else does <laughs> but shall we we they i mean i'm i'm not that young anymore but they are older than me <laughs> So, you know, like they want to do it, you know, they need to also. They haven't got an album recorded either, you know, and they're so great. They, they don't have any album. No. Oh. And they want to. They want so, to. So, also. your plans uh, to cooperate together? That's right. And have one album? One album with or myself and them, Surya right. and Levante Breeze, and the other album for Levante for Breeze for their own oh. stuff. So, yeah. whatever music they play, do they also make it themselves? Yeah. Oh, so it's all their own music? Yeah, yeah all their own stuff. Oh, okay, so it's all.
think that in Gibraltar is very musical it oriented is. It because is I uh, see a lot of bands and yeah, it's yeah. before the all this situation happened because when I was mostly staying here like in summertime a lot of uh, like nights summer, that, night. summer nights and stuff yeah, yeah so many yeah. like uh, local bands that's that right play. there's chance it's a very yeah. it's very enriched in talent when it comes to music to dance and stuff like that and sports too huh? there's a lot yeah, of sports yeah, out there sports also. I saw yeah lots of like dancing is going on yeah yeah, yeah. so I felt like it was really cool because creative I think we're very, yeah, creative, very, very country. creative country yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but don't you get like a like support from like government they do like, support a lot of things them? they do and I have I have approached them, but um, it's it's not as easy. In fact, the the premises that we're in, yeah. not only myself but the other banks that share the same premises, they are government supported. Right. But they're not the best of facilities. As I say, they're damp, they're mouldy, everything's mm -hmm. falling to pieces. The ceiling was falling down into pieces. But it's what they can offer at the moment. Yeah. You see, and there's a huge waiting list to get the better rooms. Oh. So that's why I don't mind, we don't mind getting something private or someone to sponsor us or even if we need to hire a space, you know, we'll do it. Yeah. I see. We yeah, want to well, do this yeah, journal, we hope, want hopefully. to record. <laughs> well, I hope. <laughs> yeah, like maybe someone will see you and like, we'll get in touch with you because, yeah. you know, so, uh, yeah. Well, you can just say which, where to, yeah. because not many people go into descriptions. Oh, yeah, of when course. When they watch yeah. phone, they would maybe so where, see, so where to so reach you. Surian at surian.com, that's my email. So I can, I can give it to you, maybe you can put it if you want to in the oh, title. So <laughs> the, best, the best is through your email? Yes, yeah, surian, surian.com or through my YouTube channel or my Facebook, Surian Music. So you have Facebook page? Facebook page, Inst Surian Music. music. Instagram, Surya Music, also. YouTube, Surya Music, oh, <laughs> Twitter, Surya. <laughs> it's quite easy to find you. Really. Yeah, just type Surya on okay. Google and I'll come out. <laughs> or website, Surya.com. So you have a website? Yeah, too? yeah, yeah, Surya.com. Oh, okay. yeah. And you can reach me through there too. Right, because, yeah. yeah, I saw your YouTube videos. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they're really nice. So thank I really you. hope that someone will really see it. Thank yeah. you so much. And we'll come and help you. And thank you for all helping me. <laughs> Honestly, like, this is amazing, you know, because it's helping us get the word out there that we need help. So we kind of, like, I think we covered all the yeah. uh, singing thing. You also do oh, no. paintings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just oh, yeah, because I saw you in the... Um, no, um, no, you have had an exhibition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exhibition. I so tell I, a little bit about it. It's a Gibraltar Spring Arts Festival exhibition in the right. Gustavo Bacarisa um, Hall down by Casement. Right. Basically, it was like a, a, a normal exhibition where anyone can enter. Um, I, I didn't win anything, but someone bought a painting that I did of a, a partridge, a Gibraltar yeah, Barber yeah, partridge. I saw this, you yeah, said yeah. that somebody bought it. But I, how I, exciting it is. Seriously, I hadn't. When I was little, I used to draw and stuff, and I stopped here. Yeah? And then it was been like in April, I started to sketch again because I'm part of this like, it's called the Rasta Birding Group on Facebook. No, I... And I love birds. I love the freedom that birds represent. Yeah. I believe birds should be free. I hate birds when they're caged. And I started sketching and then I started getting my, my pastels. And then I tried this thing called Ink Tense. And I started sketching and I thought, eh, I'm just going to put a, my Barbary partridge and my monkey, my Barbary ape in the exhibition and we fucking bought it and I was so over the moon about it yeah so, but I love for me like it's another way of being creative you know yeah. and I just really so enjoy you say you, you're doing different uh, things yeah. Yeah. yeah so you're very creative and very talented thank you I've got another clone there you know well, like, what else are you doing I like cooking too <laughs> oh you're also cooking yeah. you're dancing uh, by any chance also no only when I'm drunk <laughs> I go like <laughs> <laughs> Hands up in the air. Yeah. So what do you think about painting? Is that could be something more serious or is it just a hobby? I, I know it's a hobby but I, I love drawing. Um, I've been commissioned to do dogs and stuff like that and pets and anything to do with animals I love. No. I absolutely adore. Absolutely adore. But birds, I've got a passion for birds. Like I said, it's a freedom. You know, the, the thing that they just spread the wings and fly away, you know. And you always wonder, how can you see the world from up there, you know? Like a whole completely different kind of view and perspective than from what we see it, you know? <laughs> Completely different. Yeah. If only we could do this and just like, hey, fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Into the nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Do you still have your paintings out there? Or? Um, the exhibition's finished. Oh, so now, finished. Yeah, so now what? they're at home, but a lot of them, you know, are kind of like given them other commissions have gone to the people that are... Um, commissioned me to do to do the painting but I haven't been able to draw anything for the past like three or four weeks because I've been very busy with work and all this with music and stuff but now today I finished work so okay. I'm free now until September school's out for summer so now I'm living my life like a pensioner <laughs> okay <laughs> so now I'm gonna I've got a few um, photographs that I've saved 
which I want to paint with birds. So I'm, I'm going to do that now. Like so right now you will be concentrating on painting and singing. Yeah, 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 for sure. So this yeah, main main thing. Too. Yeah, and having a, a relaxed summer and you know meeting people like yourself. You know, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, cool. and just chilling out and yeah, yeah, that's what you do in summer. summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're going to where else are you going to perform? I mean, you're probably going to perform all summer now, isn't it? Because yeah, I mean, uh, we were meant to perform for. Well, every Friday I'm going to be in Cabana until September. Every Friday now, because yeah. before it was only last... With the band. Oh. So the last Friday of the month I'm with the whole band. Nice. But every other Friday I'm there with Louis performing together. Okay. And then on Saturdays, every other Saturday, I'm in Tapas by Gaucho, which is in Ta Chatham County. Right. Right? I'm down there. And then we were meant to be performing at the uh, Saturday Night Live, which was like a, a festival in Casements. But they've stopped it now. Oh, did yeah. they? They've um, they cancelled. Cancel yeah, because of the COVID. And but not they going to record it and uh, show it on not TV? This, not this one. As far as I know, they're not going to do that. So. Oh, yeah. But it's, it, it's the same like the, the fair. They've cancelled the fair now and stuff. But, you know, I think it's better to be precautious. Rather did than it just affect you quite uh, a lot, this COVID situation, with your performances? Or? But no, because I did a lot of live streams. Oh, so it's uh, you doing? I carried on. I never right. stopped. Oh, okay. I never stopped. I found a different way to do my thing. Right. Yeah, I think, like I said, yeah, you, you can work around everything and anything. Seriously, yeah. you can. Oh. So how do you do like live stream? Through YouTube or yeah. sessions live or Facebook? So. Oh, so you're singing live on YouTube? Live, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. on YouTube, yeah. Right. I mean, you don't. Because I don't know, you don't have like online concerts or something? That's it, it's oh, a live stream, that's an online concert. Right. Yeah. I mean, do you do it just in your YouTube channel or you actually join in somebody? I was in Session Live last year, I, I was in this platform called Sessions Live. Oh, okay, yeah. so there's yeah. way... ways to do that. Ah. But I left the platform because I wasn't very happy the way that they changed the whole program. And it, oh, I, I don't want to go into it about it, but they were very clever. Like, we had a, a great group that brought a lot of people in and they were doing very well. All of a sudden, um, people had to pay more to to see you live. The, they were making more money. So they put, like, tickets more expensive. Ah, exactly. Like, stuff like that, yeah. And pay less to the artist. So I said, thank you very much. I've had my time. Do my own thing. And now now that I've finished school and I'm going to start doing um, stronger, I'm going to, uh, through my YouTube channel, I'm going to do more... More you, like you want to do for more YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Not like for their social whatever platforms. No, I could, do, I could do Facebook and stuff. I think I like YouTube more. Yeah. Because um, I found like um, I've got a lot of um, fan base through America that yeah, see my, my videos and stuff, which is great. Because, I mean, I love performing in Gibraltar. But when I perform, you get your auntie, your uncle, your grandma, <laughs> your friends, everyone you know. Yeah. And I want to perform to people that don't know me. Right. You know, people that don't know me at all so by doing it through the YouTube you get people that don't know you at all and it's great because that's an audience yeah. but don't you do TikTok? I, well I do do TikTok yeah. I, do TikTok I think TikTok is a bit more See, to this than YouTube I, I think I think you get like more views out there I need to check it out now because they, they change the platforms change all the time all of it used to be Instagram Instagram used to be even more than TikTok. Instagram, I think Instagram more like writing stories in it. So now TikTok's taking but over. I think TikTok is more like for people who well, like to see. This so is very useful for me. Yeah. Because I, I had in my mind, I thought that Instagram, it was between YouTube and Instagram, and yeah. Instagram was getting there. But now TikTok, if it's growing, I'm going to go into, I'm in TikTok already, so I'm, I'm maybe I'll hit harder. Yeah, that's in why TikTok. I thought I was like, yeah, really surprised that you didn't do TikTok. Because oh, I think, thank you. Yeah, TikTok. See, I'm learning now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not an expert, to be honest. Uh, I have been on YouTube for very long, but uh, I was also actually thinking to go on TikTok On more, TikTok. But... I don't do all these kind of things, but I just, uh, when I upload some videos there, they get much more views oh, than, really? the, than YouTube. Okay, yeah. okay. Because so, I upload my videos there normal, like when I do a performance, I just upload it. Mm -hmm. But a live stream, I've never done it through TikTok, so maybe yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, try, because what I think you? you get... I don't know, I'm not sure, because they were doing something blocking in America. I don't know if they unblocked it or not. Oh, I, don't, I, I wasn't yeah. sure about that. No, I don't yeah, know. so it was, but uh, it's when they had Trump. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, he, he blocked it, but I don't know if he okay. unblocked it now. But So you, you really need to check it out. I will check it out, thank you so much. Yeah. But still, I mean, <laughs> it's, but still uh, it's quite good. 
audience in TikTok. Okay. Yeah. So maybe simultaneously you can do both yeah. or something. But also on YouTube, you know, there is like shorts. You can do yeah. short videos. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. also something new yeah. they're making, but uh, maybe that also would work better than the long You're right. Long videos. Because yeah. people can always get tired, you know. That's what that's, I was saying before about yeah. people not knowing the song. If you do a cover, they know the song, they're already familiar. Yeah. If my songs were in the radio and it was something that people would have been familiar with, yeah. it's different. Yeah. So when I meet people, I mean you guys. <laughs> so yeah. people. Uh, it'd be different, you know. But yeah, you're right. Maybe shots will be good. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. To the point, maybe like a verse and a chorus and that's it. Yeah, I think yep. you can get like Thank you attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you. if they like it, go on to you. your yeah. proper channel that's and see right. a full version mm -hmm. of something. You're right. <laughs> you see, we never stop learning, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> but you have to do a lot of work. <laughs> you have to do a lot of work. It never stops, eh? Yes, yes. Yeah. It, it takes constant. a long time. A lot of time. <laughs> the short, I mean, even if they short videos, you still need to Yeah, you need to get it right precise and to the point, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. I'm glad that I've been helpful. You've been helpful to me and to anyone that's watching, eh? Now yeah. you know. Eh? <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> I think uh, we kind of yeah. covered at this moment everything. I think so, I think so. Uh, it was really enjoyable to, yeah, likewise, to, to yeah. talk. Yeah, have a bit and of it hasn't time. rained. <laughs> no, you were right. I was like, hmm, I think it's going to be raining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but mm, no, <laughs> you, the locals know the best, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's good I didn't take an umbrella because I don't really like no. to walk with it if it's not rainy. <laughs> and it's actually not that They'll be cold. like, yeah, she's definitely not from here. She's no, no. <laughs> you're right. It's like a crazy woman. <laughs> on umbrella. Okay, so um, well, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching us, and I really hope you enjoyed our uh, interview. The chat. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed our evening together. Yeah. So, and uh, I wish you all good luck thank in everything you, so you do. Much. So, I thank really you. hope that we will be able to meet again and yeah, see actually and talk in, uh, with your progress. See how TikTok. Maybe, <laughs> that's how TikTok goes. How TikTok and how shorts. Yeah, the shorts. shorts. <laughs> and maybe I've got a room, Jana. Yeah, and um, <laughs> hopefully maybe we will yeah. be able to see you in the studio. Yeah, yeah I would love see to. How actually yeah. you do it? Uh, you know, for real, the right? For real, yeah. Oh, maybe when we're rehearsing with the band, you can come and you can see the whole thing there. Yeah, so to see yeah, how be you amazing. all are doing this thing. Yeah, it would be really cool. Yeah. So, okay, guys, so please um, check out uh, Surian's uh, all the social um, sites, the blogs and uh, <laughs> site and YouTube channel, Facebook page, everything else, whatever you find also Thank in the description you. of this video. And uh, so uh, write your comments also. And uh, we hope to see you guys again together. Okay? Thank so, you so much. Say and subscribe goodbye. to her channel. And to, to her channel too. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to your music too. <laughs> okay? And also watch the painting. Uh, yeah, and the where painting. Where you can buy your painting? Can you buy it? Online. Just get in touch with me through my website. Or you can buy paintings there, right? Um, I'm going to start a little section for it. Oh, and I'm also actually... There's a, there's a website that they've given me about Gibraltar and I can sell my... A platform where I can sell my paintings. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do that. That's this summer now. Now that I'm a pensioner. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> right. Until get summer, busy. I'm going to get busy. <laughs> when you're a pensioner, you get very busy. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, yeah, guys. Awesome. Okay, we will see you sometime next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. This one's called Against the Laws. And it's a, a little jazzy number, which we thought you, you might enjoy on your TV screens. Be 
Yeah. 